Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my how-to videos. Today I'm going to tell you how to survive a knife attack. First of all, find yourself a really good self-defence class near you, go along and learn. There we go, that's it really, end of the video. And now I'm going to tell you how not to survive a knife attack. Try and copy something you've seen on a video on the internet and then for some bizarre reason believe that you're perfectly okay and if anything happens you'll be fine because you've seen a video on the internet telling you how to survive a knife attack that's rubbish you cannot learn how to survive a knife attack from a video on the internet now why am I making this a little while ago the Daily Mail posted a video saying how to survive a knife attack. Uh, I became aware of it on Facebook but it's also on their main website and it is just shockingly awful. Everything in it is just bad. Um, before we have a look at the video together I just want to show you some of the comments that people have made. Okay, so this is the Daily Mail video that was posted onto Facebook and is also on their website. The two easy to learn moves that could save your life. In actual facts, this is complete crap. And let's just have a quick look at what other people have had to say about this. Um, for instance, this fellow here. For any ladies out there that are thinking of doing this, please do not. This will just put your lives in more danger. And he's absolutely right. This person does not know what they're talking about. This is true. The advice given here is really bad. Absolute garbage. Anyone teaching fantasy bullshit like this needs to wake up and actually research what real knife attack looked like. And that's absolutely true. This is really, really bad advice they're giving on this video. But what people are writing down is that really good. These techniques will get you killed. Never approach a blade with the veins. That's so true. You mean you'll just end up dying basically. I mean people commit suicide by cutting their veins. These moves won't work unless you're an experienced practitioner of martial arts. And uh, that's a valid point. The getting the arm over a bit is really difficult if you don't know what you're doing. What crap? If someone attacks you with a knife, you would turn your arms so your arteries face your body. Again, it's the same as the point further up. It's just the same thing over and over again. Not one person on here has written that the advice given is good. The actual, if you go to the original Daily Mail article, which says that she's been teaching for 35 years or practicing for 35 years, I can't remember. I'm not going to have a look because it's just annoying. She's clearly an idiot. A knife stab will not like at like that. He will probably stab several times fast, hard and totally unorganized. It's true. No one is going to do a gentle stab forwards like that. You will get stabbed, that's very true. If anyone confronts you with a knife, no matter how good you are, you've got to expect that you probably will get cut. And a lot of people saying run and scream as well. Hit over and over, scream, try to get distance again the emphasizing the running thing I have an issue with the running point as well and I'll explain why in a minute but as you can clearly see from this nobody is saying that this is good advice so yeah I'm just gonna cut that there alright so those were um, just a few of the comments which I found on Facebook and everyone is saying pretty much the same thing. This is a really bad video, basically. Now, I'm going to basically watch this video now with you. And I'll have it on the screen as well. Okay, so you'll now see the video appear here. Okay, it starts off with a fancy introduction, how to survive a knife attack. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my uh, laptop. So uh, I apologise for that. Um, she starts off by holding both hands up, like so. Now, one of the main problems with this, here, you've got a lot of blood vessels. 
these, well, if they get cut, you're going to be in a big trouble. This side, if you get cut, it might hurt, you might bleed a bit, and it's not very pleasant, but it's not really life-threatening. This side, if that side gets cut, that is life-threatening. Okay, so let's just um, watch him go forwards. I've paused the video, so let's just unpause it. Okay, so about the only valid thing she says is to move to the side. Uh, now this is okay because if she moves to the inside of the technique, he's got an arm and he's got a leg so that he might be able to use them. So she's moved to the outside. That is okay. But then she just says push to the side. Now, my, my, another problem with this is if someone's trying to attack you with a knife, okay, they want to hurt you. They're not just going to stand there and go, ugh and then get the arm pushed to the side and go, oh no, I've been defeated, my arm has been pushed slightly to the side. That's not going to happen. They've, he's got legs, he can run, and I mentioned in the last clip my issue of running. My issue of running is, I am a useless runner. I cannot run very fast, and I cannot run very far. I would not rely on running in a self-defence situation, because I know it is a big weakness of mine. So if someone was to attack me, I would want to neutralise the threat there and then on that spot. I would want to disarm him. He's still armed. There's a problem with this situation. He's still armed. He's still got a knife. If he wants to harm you, he'll just chase after you and stab you in the back or something. Or like that, as in the video. That is really, really bad. Um, so... And now we've got a second method here. Now she actually says she can't run because there's a wall behind her. And then she demonstrates the technique to get the arm up like so. And then she says, and then you want to run. But she starts off explaining this, saying that she can't run. So, also this technique here, where she gets the arm up over like that. She chops the arm in, bends it round like so, as you can see in the video. And I'm just watching it now. Chop the elbow. I mean, that, I mean, just that there, I'm, I've just paused it again, is you're bringing that blade up really close to your face there like that. I mean, you're bringing the arm up in that position. That knife is basically going towards her face. That is not a good place to be. You do not want to be bringing a knife up towards your face even if you're good at this manoeuvre. Now this particular manoeuvre that she's doing, I've done this many times um, with someone just doing a basic straight punch, it's not easy to get. It looks quite easy, you know, chop the arm, bring it up and they go down. You can bring it into a full lock, down on the ground, full throw. And then you do a, a suppression technique on the ground to subdue the attacker. But it's not easy to get it the first time, especially if you're little and you're against the big person. It takes practice. You can't just watch this video from the Daily Mail and go, oh, I know what to do. I do that and do that. They go down. It doesn't work like that. It really, really doesn't work like that. You need to practice this technique over and over and over to get it right. And I wouldn't do that kind of technique with the blade so close to my face. And... She brings the person down, he still has a knife, he's still armed, he's still dangerous, there's nothing to stop him from getting up and pursuing you. It's really, really, really dangerous. It's just... So when I said at the beginning of this video, find someone to do a self-defence class, make sure they know what they're talking about. Um, there's a couple of other points I just want to say. If someone is attacking you with a knife, don't try and grab the blade. I know someone that has done this and it's not good. Um, get really, really badly damaged. The blade is sharp, whether it's a one-sided blade or a two-sided blade. Sometimes you see the blade and you see it coming towards you and want to try and grab it. You've got to resist that urge to grab the blade. Okay, That is the dangerous part. Don't go for that. Um, I am reluctant to actually show you some really good 
self-defense methods for this because I don't want you to watch this video and then think oh I know what to do and then if the worst happens you try and copy what you've seen on this video and then it goes wrong and then I feel really bad about it so which is why I'm saying don't copy what you see on the internet you've got to go to a proper self-defense class there's loads around I mean, where I live they're all over the place there's different forms of karate there's kickboxing there's Krav Maga uh, there's all sorts of things just go somewhere and say you know can you teach me knife self-defense and um, there's al also workshops that happen all up and down the country so it's not that hard to find if you really put your mind to it and it's the only way you're going to learn. You're not going to learn by watching a video and you're definitely not going to learn by watching a video of someone who leaves the attacker still armed. They're not, he, she hasn't suppressed him, subdued him in any way. He can easily just pursue her and if you're in a situation where you can't run, if you're in a house or something or a building and you can't run, I mean, those t I mean if you just, if someone comes up to you like that and you do that, I mean, they're just, just going to make them more mad, to be honest. It's, it really is. I mean, so don't just do that, push the arm away. It's not going to work. You want to finish them. If someone's attacking you with a knife, they mean to hurt you. So you strike them, basically. Um, I don't know about other countries' laws, but British laws basically say, you know, you are allowed to strike first if you feel threatened. So in self-defense law, if you feel threatened, you can strike first. If someone's coming up to you with a knife, there is a clear intent there to harm you. So you need to just do what it takes. You get them down and the courts will be on your side. But this, this video worries me. I mean, I think she is stupid and irresponsible for teaching this kind of thing. So if you go along to a class, make sure they know what they're talking about. Alright, what I'm going to stick on the screen now is a very, very, very short clip of um, some knife defence I did. This was actually part of my Karate Diary 9, which was asked to be taken down. I would just like to point out, not by the person you're going to see in the video, he did not ask me to take it down, he, as far as I know, he was cool with it. But I'm just going to show a very, very small clip of a little bit of um, stuff about knives. This, now the whole clip, the original video, just on the knife section, is actually about 30 minutes long of video, and I've condensed it down to a few seconds because I'm trying not to show the original dojo and anyone in the original video due to the person wanting the video removed. So, But I just wanted to have this bit in here just to show a little bit of useful advice. If I punch and you move my hand, nothing happens. If I stab and you move my hand, maybe I cut your throat. Not because I'm that good, because you made a move I made a step, you move my hand, and maybe it's a cut. Not to be there! And create the situation that I'm not in an angle that by mistake or not by mistake is still can tap. If I'm doing something like this, it's a possibility that I cut my uh, blood vessels. So be concerned, it's not nothing. <laughs> 